American football is as cherished a pastime as it gets, but when you look back at its roots, it used to look a whole lot like the other football. You know, the one where you actually use your foot. The first collegiate football game was played in 1869 between Rutgers and Princeton. The players used a round ball, but it was more about what they didn't use, their hands. The game used the structure of soccer, but with the physicality of rugby. 25-man sides had scrums, almost continuous play, and no substitutions. It was most definitely tougher than the football you see today, but not nearly as much fun to watch. It was pretty much a disorganized pile, pushing each other back and forth until a team reached six goals. It wasn't until a talented athlete named Walter Camp aggressively proposed new rules in the early 1880s that the real bones of American football came to be, and lobbied to take the ball off the ground. Among his contributions were the addition of a quarterback, first downs, and 11-man teams. He also added blocking, which was legal in rugby. These rules resulted in new strategies, especially the emergence of mass formation plays. Think flying V formations where you're plowing into and hopefully through the other team. While totally effective, these plays were also extremely dangerous, for obvious reasons. After 19 people died in 1906 alone, Teddy Roosevelt called for a complete overhaul of the rules. This call led to the single most important advancement in shaping the game of football, the legalization of the forward pass. Previously, only lateral passing was allowed, and this opened the game up immediately, making it more exciting and safer at the same time. 1920 brought the formation of the NFL, originally called the APFA, and a bunch of new rules including legalizing the forward pass from anywhere as it was previously only allowed five yards behind the line of scrimmage. The NFL also added hash marks so that every play began in the middle of the field instead of where the last one ended. The game was largely unchanged until the 1970s when the field goal after a touchdown was reduced to a single point. For the next 20 years, the NFL tweaked the rules in order to make things safer, including outlawing face masks, chop blocks, and hands to the face, as well as instituting the play clock. At first at 30 seconds, then 45, finally to the 40 seconds it is today. The next major shift in rules was in the 90s, when the two-point conversion was introduced, instant replay, and the challenge system. The 2000s left the major rules mostly unchanged, besides the tuck rule, made infamous when Tom Brady appeared to lose a critical fumble in a playoff game against the Raiders. The rule was abolished in 2013, but sorry Oakland, the Patriots' Super Bowl wasn't. As for the 2010s, we've seen some shifting in kickoff and overtime rules, but the most significant shift came just this year, when we finally got our insane touchdown celebrations back. Walter Camp would be proud, probably.